sets is a challenge for a lot of photographers and in this video I want to show you guys how I create presets and then save it um, so that you can export them and save them or share with someone or whatever the case. But in this video, I'm not only gonna show you how I create a preset, the preset I'm gonna create in this video, I'm actually gonna link it down below for you to download for free. Also later in the video, there will be a code, a little code in the top of my screen. Um, so you will have to watch the whole video to sort of see it. And for only one person, I will give an extra 50% discount on my 2020 preset pack. Um, it's already discounted to I think $35 and it will have another 50% on top of that for one user. But you'll have to watch it and the very first person to get that code in the top left corner. Um, you know what, let's make it two people. The first two people who see the code will get it for 50% discount. But everyone will get the free preset that I'm gonna create in this video. Um, my name is Kurvis, I'm a photographer from Cape Town, South Africa. If it's your first time on my channel, it is great to have you. Um, if you've been here before, awesome. It's always great to see the familiar faces. Um, so let's get started with the screen recording, guys. There are loads of ways to create presets um, and there's no right or wrong way. And sometimes I even start right at the bottom with the calibration or I will start with the curves or I'll even start with the use saturation sliders or split toning. It really depends on what the image is like or what works for you. Um, needless to say, at the bottom left, I have chosen quite a few images so that once we've done the preset on this image, I can test it on the other images and make a couple of adjustments so that they work on most of those images. Um, and we're gonna try and make it work on all of them and well, then the preset will become yours because I'll put it out for download, guys. Um, so let's start off with this. Um, I always start with the white balance because if I don't know how or don't have the correct white balance, then um, yeah, we're not going to see the correct color. Also, like I said in the intro, uh, I'm going to record everything. If I make mistakes, it's about learning how to create presets and it's trial and error. So I don't know how long this video is going to be. Um, you probably already know how long it is because you've seen it in the in the bottom bar of how long it is. Um, but at this stage, I've got no clue. But any case, let me not babble. Let's go. So I'm going to start with the highlights. I'm going to bring down that dress. I'm going to use the whites as well. Then I'm going to up the exposure like that. And we'll talk about exposure and white balance a bit later when we save the preset. But for now, that's the adjustment I'm going to make. I'm going to open up the shadows quite a bit. And then I'm going to go to the curve tones. So um, with a new update of Lightroom, if yours doesn't look like this, it's just because you haven't updated your Lightroom, but they've now sort of made it easy to see the colors of the curve tones. And I'm going to just go to the red at this stage. I'm going to drop Bit like that in the shadow area areas areas <laughs> areas and um, bring it back up like that I might even pull it down quad there we go something like that then I'm gonna go to the greens do pretty much the same for now any case I wonder if I pull down here a bit to see what happens there you see if I pull that up the highlights goes up and down. I think that should be fine. And the last one, bring quite a bit of yellow in there. Look at that, guys. That is sort of, I quite like that already. Alrighty. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way down. In, in fact, before I go down, let's just open up those shadows a bit more and see what it does. I'm gonna bring down the whites a bit more. There we go. So I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom to calibration. I just wanna see if I add a bit of the blues there. Not too much. There we go. There 
Yeah, that looks pretty decent. Let's add a bit of that. See how we manipulate the colors, guys. It's quite crazy, isn't it? All right, let's go split toning. I might use it, I might not use it, but the way I normally use it is I will bring the saturation all the way up so I can see clearly what colors I am using. So here we've got the, the warm tones. Now we'll bring down the, the saturation and then same with the shadows. I'll look for the color. I just want to see if I want to make the, the color a bit bluish. Let's have a look. I'll bring it down. Oh, I like that. I want to see what it looks like if I do make it warm. Actually, the warmer tones on this specific picture works great. Yeah, I like that. And then we'll go up. I'll change the white balance a bit. There we go. Let's play around with the U and saturation sliders. I'm going to use the U just to get a better skin tone. Think like that, but then also I want to bring down the exposure like that. Oh, not the exposure, sorry, the saturation. And then we can up it like that. So this is the before and after, before and after. Um, also then what I'll do for a base in my presets is to change the mask now I don't know if you guys know this and this is a nice little tip if you use the optional alt key on windows and you hold it in and you slide with your mouse and this slider it gives you either white or less and less white until you see only like very interesting or just the outlines of the image now that white that you see is the amount of light that Lightroom will um, sharpen this image. So I want only those edges to be sharpened. So I'll just leave it like that. And then noise reduction, I'm just gonna bring up to about 30. I'll zoom in and check, yeah, that looks good. And then guys, um, let's play with the greens, see how we can get those greens better. Um, normally it's either in the greens or the yellows. There we go. And we can maybe pop it a bit as well. See if we pop it with a... Oh, that looks quite good. And I'm going to up the shadows a bit. Let's go to the main um, curve. You know, just up the shadows there, but bring down the highlights. And then I'll bring in some such, uh, contrast. All right, so that's the preset for now, guys. I quite like it. If you look at the before and after, before and after, I like how her skin glows. I like the fact that the dress is still well exposed. I like the colors on them. What I might actually be doing is bring down some blues, um, but I don't want to bring down too much blues because then on the image where the blues doesn't or where blues is a factor it's going to lose because i see a bit of blue here in the um in his shirt and some in her dress as well and it might even look like there's some magenta let's see if i'm right i'm going to click on this pointer click there and drag down you see there is a bit of purple coming down that's what i was seeing also there bring down the blues but again we're going to save it like this but we might adjust it on a different image um down here you can see there's an image here that's got some blues in it um and this might affect that and then we'll have to bring it back but sometimes also i i save the preset like that but it is my obligation or my workflow to then change it um as i go about so what i'm going to do is we're going to go to the top we're going to say develop we're going to say new preset and we're going to save it um under youtube let's save it under youtube and we call it free 
preset. Now, guys, very important that I do with presets is I'll check all, but then after I've checked all, I'll remove white balance and I'll remove exposure. And the reason for that is because every single image has its own exposure and white balance. And if I click on that, then it's actually going to go to the exposure and the white balance of this image we just did. And we don't want that because we don't want it to change on a different image. So I'm just going to say create. And there we have it. Now I'm going to test it on different images. Let's go one by one. So we're going to go there. We're going to go to YouTube. We go free preset. And you can see already this preset doesn't really work on this image or does it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to up the exposure on it quite a bit. We're going to add quite a bit of magenta and we're going to warm it up quite a bit. And voila, it actually does work, guys. And that's a, also the purpose of this video is to show you that even though you might think an image doesn't work or does work, it's very important that you play with the settings. There's no such thing as a one click wonder with presets. But as I said in my um, previous video, and I'll link it up at the top, is that white balance and exposure is very important when using presets. Uh, so if you buy presets, make sure to play around with the um, exposure as well as uh, the white balance, and it will make a world of difference with regards to your images. So the skin tones for me on this one is a bit orange, but that I can also fix by dragging the orange. I might even up the shutters a bit more for his suit and do that. And that looks great. Uh, so I think you might agree with me just upping the exposure and changing the white balance. This image has really popped. Um, and that's the before and the after. So let's go to the next one. Again, it's a raw image. We go to our free preset here at the, at, at the left. We're going to have a look. I just clicked on it and that is what we get. Let's drop the exposure a bit. We make it a bit warmer. We bring in some magenta. Um, drop a bit of that warmth there. And we can even add some dehaze here. There we go. Now it pops nicely. And you can see the preset for me works by just changing one or two things on it. Uh, again, no one click wonder, but it does work. Let's go to the next image. Different setting, different time of day, same couple. We go free preset, we click on it. Now, immediately you can see that the blues of this um, or these flowers are going missing um, and the image looks quite cold. So the first thing again that I'm going to do is I'm going to change the white balance, make it up a bit warmer, bring in some magenta. There we go. But we want to bring back those flowers and we're just going to pull back on the blues. Look at those blues coming back on the flowers. And if you someone that don't like greens too much. You can always take the yellow, bring it down. You can take the greens, bring it down and tone down those greens a bit. Um, you can even play with it in the U and saturation sliders to see what kind of greens you want on that. But again, same preset, not many adjustments on it and it works quite nicely. I'll up the exposure a bit. Next image. We're going to go free preset again. I just popped it in there. We're going to go up the exposure. Again, going to do the white balance and look at that image coming together. I'm going to drop the exposure a bit. And I think that is it. So that was a almost a one click wonder, um, which makes this preset actually <laughs> sellable. But I'm going to give it to, for free to you guys. Um, let's have a look at the greens. Let's bring the greens down a bit for those of you who like toned down greens. There we go. And um, let's have a look at the saturation a bit. Let's go vibrance. Just see if we can pop the flowers a bit. There we go. I like it more 
of a realistic green. So I'm actually going to bring the greens just back. But there we go. I quite like that. Now, there's so many things you can do with this image still. Um, but this is about building a preset. And we cannot use radial filters and brushes and stuff in a color preset, if I can call it that. If I want to create a preset where there's a brush involved, that's a different story. Um, typically, I would maybe brush the aisle here so that the exposure will come down. Um, and things like that so but for now i think this works perfectly well so brighten assist uh, we're going to click on the free preset see how it goes so yeah from here it's, it's a bit on the green side we're going to add a bit of magenta by doing the white balance let's see if we take warmth way and we bring the exposure up a bit i'm going to bring down the shadows oh yeah. And then we can play with the orange a bit, which is the skin tones. And there we go. So we've created a preset. Uh, we've tested it on six images. And it looks to be working great. And if we look at the results, that's a before and after. Um, there, there is that image with its before and after. And another. Another one. And the last, second last one. So I hope you enjoyed the screen recording and that you learned something from it. And also that you're excited to download this specific preset. And once you've downloaded it and you played with it a bit, please comment down below. Tell me what you think of it. Does it work for you? Doesn't it work for you? And if you have any questions with regards to what the screen recording was about, please leave it down below. I promise I will reply to every single comment um so i hope that it will help you remember to check out for that little code it's a little barcode i'm going to give away two 50 percent discounts on my kt preset pack um and the rest of you will obviously get this preset i just created for free guys i have to add to this and say that preset is not an overnight thing it doesn't happen overnight it looks like it's very quick when you see it on this video but it is after years and years developing a style and sort of knowing already what you want to do with certain sliders um that you can create something and maybe if my style changes in the next five years years or so i will build on top of that and in five years time i will maybe have another preset now obviously i can create presets faster than that but it does take time and it's not a quick fix and also as you can see in the video it's not a one click wonder you have to play with that exposure and you have to play with the white balance and some colors maybe the blues the oranges the reds whatever the case depending on the scene that you have photographed if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up Please, please give it a subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on the notification button so that you will get notified if I load up another video. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.